YouTube, what's going on? This is Weird Paul. I'm two days away from my haircut, which I'm really looking forward to. And I'm back to answer more questions from subscribers and Facebook friends uh, today. So these are going to be all music-related questions. Ready? First question we've got is, did you ever see the girl from Halloween again, the one who is bartending and wearing her grandmother's ring? Well, that's a question about a song called Halloween Night, which is on my album The Dame That Drove Me Nuts, which I recorded in 1999. And that song is not about my personal life. Uh, that was a missed connection ad that I saw in the back of the local city paper. And it said, you were bartending and wearing your grandmother's ring. I was the really ugly cheerleader and I wish I could see you again. And I thought that was really funny. So I just used those as the lyrics to the song. And of course, I also wonder if that guy wearing the cheerleader costume ever got to see that bartender again. <laughs> Our next question is, what happened to Tom after he ate the banana? This is, of course, a reference to my song, Tom Ate a Banana, on my 1991 album, Low Fidelity, High Anxiety. Well, the Tom of the title is Tom Ryan, who I went to recording school with in Chillicothe, Ohio. Uh, he can be seen on YouTube in a video of us playing Tom Ate a Banana. <laughs> That was Tom there, and uh, after recording school, I think Tom moved back to Maryland for a while, then he moved to Washington, D.C., where he was in a pretty popular local band, and I think today he lives in Florida. Probably still eats a banana now and then. The next question is, did you really only eat McDonald's fries for two weeks while on a tour? This is referring to the tour I did in 1991, the only real tour I did, when uh, Homestead Records put out Low Fidelity, High Anxiety. And the answer is, no, that is some kind of weird rumor. Uh, I did eat a lot of McDonald's fries on that tour, as I recall, but I also remember distinctly eating at a Greek restaurant where I had a roast beef sandwich. That was the only thing I could find on the menu that I knew what it was. And also, uh, I ate some pancakes, I remember, and it took about an hour to get those pancakes. That was not, not a very happy time. Okay, next question is, what's your favorite song, our album that you've recorded? Uh, I would say my favorite song I've recorded is probably I Got Drunk at Chuck E. Cheese. And it seems to be the favorite of a lot of people. It has an awful lot of views on YouTube. Uh, as for my favorite album I've recorded, well, right now I think it's Check Me Out Now, which is my latest album. And normally when people ask me what my favorite album is, it's usually my latest album, just because uh, I recently recorded it and I'm still really happy with the songs on here. It makes me very happy to listen to it. Another question is, which song or album do I want to be remembered for? Well, I'm probably going to be remembered for Low Fidelity, High Anxiety, most likely, which has just recently been re-released, and you can buy it again on my website, weirdpaul.com. Um, this is sort of my classic album, I guess, and I'll probably always will be. Another question is, just how did that meat get in the tang? Of course, that's uh, referencing my song, Piece of Meat in the Tang, where, uh, you know, my dad found some meat in his tang at the dinner table. This is one of life's great mysteries. I don't think we'll ever know exactly how that meat got in my dad's tank. Okay, we have one more question, and it is, when are you going to do a big tour? And they say, Memphis is waiting. Well, I think there's a lot of places maybe waiting, but uh, I would love to do another big tour. Like I said, I haven't really done one now in about 20 years, uh, but I am not good at booking tours personally, and I would need somebody to do it for me, a booking agent or somebody else to help me out with it but I would love to tour as soon as possible. Uh, I do plan to play Little Rock, Arkansas at some point, and so Memphis would definitely be on the schedule if I do that. So those are all the questions we have for today. If you have other questions you want to ask me about music or about my videos or anything else, you can just reply with them in the comments below or send me a message on YouTube, and I'll talk to you soon with some more answers to your questions. See you later, YouTube.